When spring arrives, arable farmers' minds switch back to fieldwork and planning a robust herbicide program is a top priority. Recent years have shown that the window for applications can open up as early as February or as late as April. Saturated soils following wet winters will delay growers' ability to get on with the job, which makes preparation, including getting the right chemistry in store and ready to go, all the more important, as there will be plenty of other on-farm activities to catch up on. Getting a good grip on the weed burden that is present in your fields is an important first step before deciding on your herbicide investment. Farmers may know which weeds have carried over through the winter. After a wet autumn, residual herbicides can be washed out of the soil profile, increasing the weed pressure. There will also be spring germinating weeds to take care of, especially when spring cereals are sown. In winter crops, the main broadleaf weed robbers include cleavers and cranesbill, which are likely to be coming on strongly after the winter. Poppy, which is subject to ALS resistance in some parts of the country, can be tricky to control, while chickweed, groundsel, brassicas and some umbelliferous species should all be tackled while they are small. Poppy is competitive in wheat and a population of only 12 plants per metre squared can reduce yields by 5% in winter wheat. The objective is to control the weeds while they are small to stop them competing with the crop for space, light and nutrients and to give the chemistry the best chance of delivering a good result. Cereal crops planted late after potatoes or sugar beet are likely to have had little or no residual herbicide program. The weed spectrum can be different in these situations with spring germinators fat hen, orash, black bindweed and black nightshade often present. Scottish barley growers will be all too familiar with the prevalence of fumitry which can cause significant issues if not controlled before soil temperatures rise and crops begin to motor through the growth stages. Those growing spring barley outside of traditional spring barley growing areas because of the wet winter weather will need to plan for a robust broadly weed herbicide program. There is no single product to cure all weed control problems. Under normal circumstances, a pre-emergence application followed by a contact spray will have laid a solid foundation for the spring season. However, wet autumns usually neutralize the effect of these herbicides. Corteva's Aralex active molecule has become a mainstay of any spring broadleaf weed herbicide program. Its key point of difference from traditional chemistry is the ability to, to perform extremely well in cold and fluctuating temperatures. This makes the molecule a great fit for early spring, while sulfonylurea chemistry may struggle to achieve good control of some weed species, especially larger poppies. And there is a yield benefit to consider with earlier applications. Trials by Corteva have shown a 1.75 tonnes per hectare yield benefit in winter wheat by treating crops with Aralex. The study carried out at Corteva's Wellsborn site in Warwickshire showed chickweed, poppy, cranesbill and cleavers were present in both trials and were totally controlled by Zipar, Aralex Active plus Florazulam, at a rate of 0.75 litres per hectare. The trial, treated on the 24th of February, yielded 9.33 tonnes per hectare, while the plot left until the 24th of April yielded 7.58 tonnes per hectare, showing the benefit of early application where possible. But the opportunity to take out key problem weeds early is not always there. In this instance, Aralex chemistry has excellent tank mix compatibility, which is essential in a season where complicated sprayer loads will be the norm. Pixaro and Zipar both contain Aralex and are contact acting herbicides, which can be applied all the way through to growth stage 45 in winter and spring cereals. Zipar is also approved for use on winter oats at 0.5 liters per hectare. Aralex controls ALS resistant poppy populations, as well as cleavers, cranesbill, chickweed, mayweed, fat hen, fumitry and charlock. Applied at the T0 fungicide timing, Aralex can remove competitive weeds early in a single pass. Growers who wait until the T2 fungicide timing can use Aralex chemistry to mop up weeds that have escaped treatment earlier in the spring, as well as clearing out late freshes of cleavers and black bindweed which may come through.
Tank mixing Arilex herbicides with sulfonylureas or phenoxy herbicides is often necessary to control a wider spectrum of broadleaf weeds. In spring barley, an SU partner such as Thyphensulfuron plus Metsulfuron methyl will broaden the scope of the application to pick up polygonums, umbelliferas and brassicas. The activity will depend on the weed size. Zippa is more active on brassicas than Pixaro because it contains fluorazulam rather than fluoroxypia. Umbelliferous weeds, birch herbal and cow parsley for example, can be controlled with the addition of an SU such as Harmony M if Zippa cannot be applied when the weeds are small. For more information on using Arilex Active this spring, please contact the Corteva helpline on 0800 689 8899 or visit www.corteva.co.uk.